Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to talk to you guys about my week six of pregnancy. So from six weeks um, to six weeks, six days. Um, I am, I'll sit up. I was laying in bed. I am having the worst time with this morning sickness. Um, I went, this is kind of back. Um, so starting at six weeks. Gosh, okay. Um, I had my ultrasound at six weeks, two days, and we saw the baby um, had a fetal pull. Um, baby had a heart rate of 110 beats per minute and was measuring right where it should be, and um, everything was looking good. I did um, film it, and I already uploaded that video like a week ago. Um, but we, I spoke to the RE because I have been so sick and um, she told me to take Unisom and B12, which I know there's controversy over the B6, B12, um, but for sure she told us B12. And so I took that on Thursday night. I literally threw up for about four hours nonstop. And, um, I finally fell asleep. I went to work Friday morning, um, which was December 5th. And, um, by the end of the day on December 5th, um, we had, I, by the end of the work day, anyways, right, right around two o'clock, I was so dizzy that I would walk down the hall at the school, um, just with, leaning against the wall because I thought for sure that I was going to pass out. And if I passed out, I didn't want to pass out in the middle of the hall. So, um, I called the doctor and I told her kind of what was going on. And she suggested that I go to the emergency room. And once in the emergency room, they diagnosed me with hyperemesis and gave me two liters of fluid and, um, a bunch of Zofran. Um, and then they gave me a prescription for Zofran to fill, to take, um, up until my OB intake appointment. And it, let me tell you, the Zofran worked a little bit, but it didn't work a lot. Um, it would work for about two hours or so, sometimes three if I was lucky. And then, um, once it wore off, I would spend the next three to four hours, um, just vomiting up everything that I had eaten in those two to three hours prior. So, um, it didn't go over all that well. And when I went to my OB intake appointment on, it was, it actually ended up being at seven weeks. So I'll just kind of skip over to that real quick. Um, she, told me not to take the Zofran because it could cause heart defects, but put me on Compazine instead, which um, I was told not to take by the pharmacist because I have asthma and um, it had been known to cause some pretty severe birth defects. So I didn't take that. And actually on Friday, um, this just this past Friday, so seven weeks, seven and a half weeks, um, I ended up back in the emergency room because I was so severely dehydrated again and um, unable to keep anything down that I almost passed out in one day like six times. So, um, just the morning sickness has been really bothering me. I am um, really not experiencing that many other pregnancy symptoms. Um, I haven't really been crampy since the five-week mark when I went in for that ultrasound. Um, I do occasionally get cramps, but not anything really bad. It's almost just kind of in my hips, like a little bit of a pulling sensation if I walk for too long or if I, like, stand for too long. Um, and my breasts are very tender. I've already um, gone through two bra sizes um, in this past, you know, seven weeks or so. Um which is kind of frustrating, but kind of, you know, exciting at the same time. Um, I do, I was born with a concave chest, so, um, 
my I normally like if you were to take the measurements and all of that I would wear a B cup but because of where my chest caves in at I actually end up wearing an A cup um, or like a small A cup and I have already gone through my pre-pregnancy bra and I am busting out of the other bra so I think I need to go find something bigger um, I did get a sports bra but it squeezes down so hard and it just is so uncomfortable so I don't quite know what to do as far as bras go because the traditional ones don't quite fit but the non-traditional ones kind of hurt I don't know um but I think a lot of that has to do with the progesterone suppository or not but you know what I mean the you know the little capsules and not really just my body I mean I'm sure some of it is my body but I think a lot of it is um, increased because of the progesterone. Um, what else? I wake up every morning just about with a headache and I'm not sure if it's from just the dehydration and just being hungry and thirsty or if it's from, uh, you know, pregnancy related stuff. Um, that's really it. I mean, I was constipated for a little bit, but that kind of went away, and that's about it. I don't know. You can see my lips are really dry. Um, I try and keep, like, oil or Vaseline and, like, you know, chapstick and things like that on them, but it just is not helping, and I, I know a lot of that has to do with the dehydration. I'm trying so hard to drink stuff. It just doesn't sit very well. Um, at all. Um, I do have a bit of a backache. Um, I know a lot of that has to do with just where my uterus is sitting in my body is kind of just pushing on my back, um, especially where that fracture happened, um, is right there <clears throat> with everything else. And so, um, my uterus is kind of pushing on that. The other thing that I am experiencing a lot more of is just um kind of all day fatigue I wake up exhausted and I go to bed exhausted I had been going um you know I try and stay awake until at least 8 30 but most days I'm asleep by six o'clock just because it's by the end of the day I'm so drained that I can't stay awake um long enough to really do much of anything in the nighttime. My house is in shambles because of it, but that's, you know, it is what it is. So, as far as baby goes, in six weeks, kind of a lot happened. I'm trying to get to it right now. Um, I'm using, I have a couple different apps on my phone, and if you have one that you really like, um, let me know. But right now I'm just using Ovia um, for the majority of stuff, just because it's um, seems to be pretty good, pretty knowledgeable. So at six weeks, um, here we go. It says, your baby has the tiny little buds of arms and her legs are beginning to form. Most women in the sixth week of their pregnancy experience morning sickness as well as exhaustion. So clean up your diet and get plenty of water and exercise to best deal with the symptoms. Okay, well, hyperemesis, you don't get plenty of food. You don't get plenty of water. Um, and you're so exhausted that you really can't exercise. Um, how's baby? Your baby is now the size of a blueberry, measuring approximately a quarter of an inch long. This may not seem huge, but it's just, but just think about how much she has grown in the past month. From a tiny collection of cells to the increasingly complex human being to be that is currently in the process of spreading all of her facial features. Her cute little nose and curious eyes are just starting to form, although they still merely look like little dark spots over on her oversized head. Development of the lower body lags behind that of the upper, making her look slightly like a mermaid as she may already be wiggling her flipper-like arms. Your baby is also starting to straighten out from its formerly curled position, and that pesky tail is making its way to final destination in the back. 
These upcoming weeks are the most important for baby developmentally, so if you aren't on a prenatal vitamin yet, it's important to start. You will also probably choose an OBGYN around now, as the first consultation usually happens around week 8. Um, and then, how's mommy? If you're feeling sick to your stomach right now, you aren't alone. During the sixth week of pregnancy, over 80% of moms-to-be experience nausea, which usually starts in the morning, hence the term morning sickness, before dissipating in the early afternoon. However, nausea during the first trimester is not exclusive to the morning. That terrible feeling could hit you at any point during day or night. To combat the symptoms of morning sickness, doctors usually recommend cutting out greasy or spicy food, drinking lots of water, and getting plenty of rest. Rest should not be a difficult thing to accomplish right now, as many women in early pregnancy are exhausted to the point where even the smallest amount of activity takes a huge toll on the body. That one I can attest to, because getting up and going to get a bowl of cereal and then coming back to sit down and eat, and I'm